hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jagerhead. So I decided to draw my old cat, my old calf, uh, Oreo. R.I.P. Oreo, love you. Oreo passed away about a year and a half ago. Um, okay, our, I I just did a video about uh, Maggie, my grandparents' daughter, passed away, and I did a tattoo. And all the animals in my life are dying. Okay. Knock on wood, it's not gonna happen and- oh, sorry, that's the microphone. Knock on wood, that's not gonna happen again. Is this creepy that I'm holding this? This is Oreo. <laughs> Love you. So, uh, one thing I like to do is check out the garbage room. Oh, maybe actually I shouldn't film the coat. <laughs> in the garbage room of my building. You can get some treasures here, guys. Okay, so they clearly just did garbage recently. I'm not so gross that I open up bags. Okay, that's where I draw the line. All right, I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Okay, with the T5 circle for us at my... Okay. Oh, sick. I could put forms in here and stencil paper. And there's five, two. We scored today, guys. We scored. Whew, okay, we're back in the studio, day 21. Feeling very fortunate that I have two homes to uh, lock down in. I haven't spent as much time here as I thought I would because I have a foster cat, so. Oh, oh no. Hibiscus. Oh, hibiscus. I see this death. Okay. I think we gotta water some plants, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to water some plants. So right now, I'm just printing off the rough sketch that I did of my beloved cat, Oreo, in a kind of Tibet Buddha vibe. Hopefully this is an appropriation. Um, I think it's just really sweet to, you know, I think my cat's great, and I hope that's not an insult to Buddhists that I'm making a cat Buddha. Is that okay? So yeah, so I'm just gonna print that off, and, uh, Hopefully it works, because you know how it is. Sometimes it doesn't print, so. It's doing it! No! Yes. And then I'm just gonna trace that onto, um, is this contact paper? Um, just like the clear paper that I drew the mural design on. And uh, I think I'm gonna do washable marker this time, because I don't, I think I'm a pro. I think I can handle this, so. So here's the design. Oh well. So I'm obviously gonna put a lot more detail in there. So I guess we'll clip to me drawing it on some plastic. Go! So I'm just using a dry erase marker. Oh my god. This is so hard. Uh, the word of the day today is just uh. I kind of added these shoulder pad things because I felt like the shoulders looked really weird and I mean, I just really love stuff on the shoulders. That's just uh, Gaga fan coming out. Ooh la la! Bonjour, my little This is what I'm going to try to trace. <laughs> Let's set up the projector and see if this actually projects well. I just went over the sketch that I just did on the projector and just made it a little bit better, um, added some details, still very, very rough. Um, kind of on the fence with what I did, I kind of did this weird pattern on the shirt and I'm like, does this look like a tropical shirt now? Uh, I think I'm just gonna go with it because I kind of like the pattern, but it has a weird vibe and why did I put shoulder pads on it? Uh, okay, let's check it out. So we got this cool kind of headpiece. Derpy cat's face looks really happy now. Um, the thing it's holding, the staff thing, this kind of infinity rope. So 
you see this weird kind of pattern going on? <laughs> uh, matching necklace, is this like a belly dancing skirt? Uh, I don't know. And just a really simple lotus at the bottom that I'll stack up with more detail here. Man, this is gonna be freaking epic. My mom's gonna be pumped. I think I'm gonna put a lot of dot work in here actually, which I kind of held off on doing for some of my bigger projects just because it took so long and it was kind of giving me like panic attacks. So yeah, let's uh, take it home and go hang out with Jeff. Yo, man, scratched Oreo's face. Foster cat life. Just me doing the cat face with my uh, beverage. There's no alcohol in there. Look at this reference. How cute is Oreo, guys? Come on, this is ridiculous. Oreo, you're ridiculous. You can't hear me. Okay. Can I just take a moment to say the amount of times that I drew Oreo in my adolescence is astronomical. Like, oh, this is such a funny angle where it's kind of like upwards. So I didn't really appreciate the character going on here. Like, I drew her so many times growing up, guys. So this is very exciting. No one cares. Get back to look. Hey, so. I just blocked in a bunch of black and it already looks so much better and so much more like Oreo. Um, I think I'm gonna add some more black because it's all about contrast. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about contrast. I really need to add it to these monkey arms. Cause what the heck? <laughs> I don't know, I'm already really stoked about the face. Like even with that black, like it looks so good. So I just left some areas here, even though they are black. Um, I just left them open just so I could add some kind of eyebrow hairs. I'm just gonna kinda just wisp some line work into that just to make it look like just like little faint white hair. She always had like some little faint white. Oh, I can't stop just looking at it and crying. <laughs> oh, I love her so much. Not even on my period, guys. Just, she's just how I am all the time. Now the marker chooses to work. Oh, okay. I see you. I was really debating on doing um, gray in the eyes, but I think I'm just gonna use just some little dot work to kind of um, add some dimension. Oh, da -da, dimension. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see some more videos in the future, please like, 
subscribe, comment, and hopefully I see you uh, next time. Thank you.